Hello, good morning students. Welcome to e-learning classes of Lonos Academy School. In this video, we are going to see class 11. Today, I am going to discuss about terminology of accounting. Liability, amount payable by the business for credit purchase of goods or assets or amount payable for borrowed money is known as liability. This amount is payable in the future. It is treated as liability till it is not paid by the business. Okay? Kya hota hai? Jab aap purchase karte ho goods or assets ko and amount pay karte ho baad mein, in future mein. So, tab tak business ke liye wo kya ho gaya? Liability. In future aapko pay karna baaki hai. Liability can be classified as under. Liability, usko classify hum kaise karte? Dekh liye. Internal liability and the external liability. Internal liability on the basis of relation, on the basis of time, current liability, non-current liability. Same external may current liability and non-current liability. Okay. Internal liability and external liability. In accounting, business and owner are treated as separate entity. When the owner of business is providing capital to the business, it becomes internal liability of the business. It is a liability of business to our owners. In brief, amount payable by the business to the owner is internal liability. Owner of the business has provided capital of rupees 1 lakh. This 1 lakh is a liability of business to our owner. This is an internal liability of business. Jab business kar rahe hai, business ke andar capital jo owner le ke aa rahe. Business ke liye wo capital hai. But, jo person hai, uske liye wo capital hai. But, jab, jo person owner hai, uske liye wo capital hai. But, business ke liye wo kya hai? Liability. It means जब वो person business stop करेगा या बंद करता है तब उतनी capital उसको return करनी होती है. In future उसको pay करना पड़ेगा. So ये business के लिए क्या हुआ? Liability. But कौन सी? Internal liability. Okay? The amount payable by the business to the third party for Credit purchase of goods, assets, service or payable amount for borrowed money is non-external liability. For an example, rupees 50,000 are borrowed from Bhavna Ben with the condition to redeem after 3 years. Goods of rupees 2,000 purchased on credit from Brahman, rupees 1,000 are outstanding for the payment of rent. Furniture of rupees 5000 is purchased on credit from Devang. All these dues are payable in future. These are all third parties. So, we have 50,000 borrowed in Bhavna Bin. In which condition? That after 3 years, we will redeem it. We will redeem it means we will pay it. After that, second, goods of rupees 2000 purchase on credit. We have 50,000 purchased on credit. We have goods purchased on credit. क्रेडिट बेस पे इट मींस उसको भी हम पे करेंगे बाद में एंड द पीस 1000 आर आउटस्टैंडिंग फॉर पेबल ऑफ रेंट रेंट पे हमने जो बिजनेस पे शॉप या परचेस किया है सॉरी हमने जो रेंट पे रूम या शॉप रखा है तो उसके बदले जो हमें रेंट प्रोवाइड करना है उसमें 1000 रुपीस आउटस्टैंडिंग है तो हम उसको इन फ्यूचर पे करेंगे Furniture of 5000 is purchased on credit from Devang. Business के अंदर furniture लेके आ रहे हैं, purchase किया है. हमने Devang से. But credit base पे purchase किया है. उसको भी हम क्या करेंगे? Future में pay करेंगे. So ये सब हमारे business के अंदर जो liabilities है, वो है हमारे लिए external liabilities. Internal and external liabilities are determined on the basis of relation of business with the owner and third party. Jo bhi owner se related liabilities hai, wo kaun si hai? Internal liability. And then third party se connect jo liability hai, wo hai amare liye external liability. Okay? 
current liability and non current liability as stated earlier internal and external liability is determined on the basis of relation of the business with the person while current and non current liability is determined on the basis of time okay first jo humne sikha internal and external wo kis ke basis pe tha to person it means owner and third party okay now current and non current liability kis ke basis pe hai basis of time its explanation is as follows a liability which is to be paid within a one year by the business is known as current liability जो भी लायबिलिटी है उसको हम विद इन वन ईयर में पे करते हैं तो वो हमारे लिए है करंट लायबिलिटी करंट लायबिलिटी इज ट्रीटेड एज शॉर्ट टर्म लायबिलिटी ऑल्सो उसको हम शॉर्ट टर्म लायबिलिटी भी बोल सकते हैं जनरली इन शॉर्ट टर्म लायबिलिटी गुड परचेस ऑन क्रेडिट एक्सपेंसिस आउटस्टैंडिंग एट एक्स्ट्रा आर इंक्लूडेड जो शॉर्ट टर्म की लायबिलिटी कौन सी हो सकती है तो गुड्स परचेस एंड क्रेडिट या आउटस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एनी एक्सपेंसेस। फॉर एन एग्जांपल, एज अबाउट स्टेटेड गुड्स परचेस एंड क्रेडिट फ्रॉम रमन आउटस्टैंडिंग पेमेंट फॉर रेंट क्रेडिट परचेस ऑफ फर्नीचर ये जो भी एग्जांपल थे वो क्या है हमारे लिए शॉर्ट टर्म के लिए इट मीन्स वो हमारी है करेंट लाइबिलिटी a liability which is to be paid during the period of more than 1 year by the business is known as non sorry is known as non current liability non current liability is also known as long term liability of the business in, in a non current liability bank loan debenture at extra are included For an example, as above mentioned, amount borrowed from Bhavna Bank. जो last वाला example था, Bhavna Bank से हमने जो borrowed किए money, उसमें क्या बोला था? Redeem after three years. So one year से ज़्यादा time basis है, तो वो हमारे लिए क्या है? Non-current liability. Okay? So business liability on the basis of time, current liability, short term liability. non current liability long term liability as described above liability can be classified according to their different nature each liability plays its specific role in the business okay thank you